Welcome to the next project and another 3D print file guitar tool episode. This is what we're going to call the grip and it came to be out of necessity. After I level and crown frets on a fretboard, I often fold up a little chunk or various chunks of paper and sand the tooling marks, the leveling marks and the file marks out of the frets and my hands cramp up. I have trouble holding on to little things like that. Again, my hand does this. So I decided to figure out a way to hold the paper on a bigger device. And this is a version 17 of this idea. A couple videos ago, I had a similar looking tool that um, Old Man Zen, a longtime family member to the channel, said, hey, have you thought about putting a reel in there in some way to advance it? And actually, I had thought about that, and I couldn't get the idea to work, so I abandoned it. So here we go. We've got version 17 of this The Grip tool. What it does is you take a piece of sandpaper, and you feed it into the top end of this, and the paper will go down and around, around the sanding surface, which is a concave surface that will fit pretty much any fret. And it goes up and it goes on to a roll that has a thumb wheel, knob, whatever, on one end. And the spool in the middle has a slit through it that the paper folds into. And the knob is on the other end, so then you just twist, sand, twist, sand. Let's take a look at how this whole thing goes together as we start the next project. Okay, we're ready to put this together. Now, before you, you go crazy and start gluing things together, think about if you're right-handed or left-handed, play with it a little bit. Decide, you know, if you're sanding with your right hand and you're tightening it with your left hand, which assembly, you know, direction works best for you. So once you get that figured out, put a couple little drops of super glue in the recess area of the thumb knob and then press that on to the end of the reel and make sure you press it in nice and firm. You want it to be snug. You don't want it to spin freely. It needs to have some drag to it. That will actually help keep the paper on the reel once we load it up. So it's gonna look something like that. Now we're getting ready to prep our paper. I suggest using um, sandpapers that are 600 grit or finer. Uh, I did test this with some 220 grit paper and it works, but it's really not designed for this holder. I'm cutting my paper to two and a half inches wide by about eight and a half inches long, finding roughly the center and cutting an arrow shape on one end. The reason for this arrow shape is going to be so we can load it into the reel. So now I've grabbed a uh, narrow shaft screwdriver and I'm rolling the paper up nice and tight around that and getting it squared up so it's a nice even width roll. The little arrow tab is sticking out there. And I'm going to fold over three eighths to a half an inch of that arrow. And now we're going to slide it into the holder with the little arrow tab sticking out. Now we're going to look at the reel, which is down the side. And you can see there's a slit in there. We need to get that tip of that arrow tucked into that slit. And we want to push it in basically three eighths to a half an inch. That's what is going to allow the reel to grab onto the paper and advance it. So if you put this all together, get your paper in there and you give it a twist and the paper pops right out, either you need to cut a, a, a sharper arrow or get it tucked into the reel a little bit more. Play with it a little bit. You're going to get it figured out. Like everything, it takes a few tries to get things sorted out. So we're going to give it a test. Again, use 600, 800, 1,000, 1,200, 2,000 grit papers. You'll have pretty good luck. So there we are. This is version 17 of our grip sandpaper holder for cleaning up scratches and frets before you polish. Uh, there may be a 18, 19, 20 coming out. I don't know. It's going to depend on my use and ideas and if I feel it's worth doing more work on this or not. It's going to cost you about a dollar US to print this in materials. Probably take an hour to an hour and a half to print um, when you print it. Print it with the version number down on your print plate and the thumb knob part will be sticking up from your print plate. 
the real shaft itself, this big coin size piece will be down on the print place. The tube of the reel will be sticking up. You can use the coarsest draft setting if you want to, or a super fine resolution. That's up to you. It's a toss up. They all look good. And this is a tool. It's not like, you know, an heirloom item. Give it a try. If you like it, great. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. Um, it's free to you. Just takes your time and your material. Let me know if you have ideas for upgrades. Maybe we can work something into a future version. Anyway, thank you very much for your time. I uh, appreciate you watching the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Give it a thumbs up because that helps the channel out. Leave comments. Love hearing from everybody all around the world. Until next time, take care of yourself and those around you. Bye.